I thought of the day is brought to you by Moshe and Ariella Bush. Uh, here's a story I just read of, of two weeks ago, and it was very inspiring. Um, a fellow lived in the from Tzvat, uh, from French origins, a Baal Tshuva, uh, someone that was brought closer to Yiddishkeit by Rabbi Mula Amizov. Um, relates a story as follows. Uh, he didn't have any children for 10 years and received the bracha from the Lubavitcher Rebbe uh, for a, for a, a child. Uh, they had a girl. And uh, when the girl was 10 years old, uh, they discovered a tumor in the brain. And the doctor said that the only hope is to send her to Boston and uh, to see what kind of help they can get there. And when she came to Boston and they did the necessary examinations, the doctors concluded as follows. Uh, she can go under the operation to remove the tumor, but then uh, they don't guarantee that she will wake up from the operation. Uh, the other option is not to do the operation, and she basically will live for another six months. Obviously, in such a destitute, broken state, he didn't know what to do, and he decided to go back to where he received the blessing for her in the first place, and that was the Rebbe. When, she came, when, they came, when he came into a private audience with the Lubavitcher Rebbe, um, he broke out in a terrible, terrible uh, sobbing and weeping. And it was during the month of Adar, and the Rebbe looked at him very strictly, and the Rebbe said, you are bringing sadness into this room? You're bringing sadness into this room? Now, I'm not quoting verbatim uh, exactly, but it's something like that. You're bringing sadness into this room. The person was so shocked. I mean, here he is pouring out his heart, and he thought, is the Rebbe kidding with me? So he said, Rebbe, this is my daughter's life. And the Rebbe said, and you think that by bringing sadness into this room, you're going to help your daughter? So he said, Rebbe, I'm willing to be happy, but what should I do? Her life is on the, hanging in, on, on a hair. And the Rebbe said to him, well, it's the month of Adar. The month of Adar is a month of transformation of a vinahapachu, so let it be vinahapachu. And he took his hands, his holy hands, and he moved it from the right to the left maybe once or maybe more than once. Um, fine. The fellow walked out of the yechidus, of the private audience, and when he was outside, he remembered, I totally did not ask the question. Yes, operation or no operation. So he sends, he couldn't go in a second time. So he sent in a letter. Am I to operate or not to operate? The answer that he got was that um, I already answered him when he was in the, in the yechidus, when he was in the private audience. He didn't get it. What kind of answer? He never asked the question. So he sent in again the question, should I operate or not operate? The Rebbe answered that um, I already had answered him, but he, he's being stubborn. Uh, he can go ask for a third opinion. So he went to a, another doctor and he asked the question, will it be the operation? The doctor said there's an operation. So they did, put, they, they did the surgery and they opened up the, 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 the head. Um, they found that nothing Your daughter has to suffer because you're lacking in 